All right, stick with me on this one. I took this bad boy with uh, the new hood cover slash bug guard to um, a pretty cool place called Old China Dam. Uh, this video is a little different than usual, but I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Okay, we're gonna go on a little hike with Bailey, who's standing on top of the, uh, oh, look it up there. Some uh, hawks or vultures or eagles or something. All right, so we're gonna go on a little hike. And here is the newer, China Dam. You can tell because it's made out of cement partially. And then there's over there, I think I can see that. That's the the really old China Dam that was built by the Chinese immigrants or Chinese workmen way back in the 1800s. So we're gonna go on a little walk over there. Bailey will come with me. I came here one time, actually several times, looking for my drone. We'd park down here with Charlie or my brother, and uh, it's kind of cool looking. Yeah, I think Bailey's having a good time. Well, using my GoPro, I think it does pretty good. All right, there's the old one. Okay, off to the well, that's not the old, old one, but off to the old, old China Dam. And when I came here before, it was with my brother Paul. And we both hiked over here. And at that time, there was water around the corner there. I don't know if there'll be water now. We're going to find out. There's Bailey having a good old time up there. How you doing, buddy? Hi. Look at that sky go. Makes me feel good that he is free and having a good time. It's pretty warm out today. It's probably, well, at least 90. The last time I looked at it, my uh, temperature in my truck. Oh. Oh, okay. Oops. 
Got a little green grass down here. Yep. Hi. I gotta be careful because I'm clumsy a lot sometimes and especially on uneven surfaces like this and I've kind of always been that way all right so here there is still water here uh, hmm look at Bailey what are you gonna do you gonna get wet well we might have to get wet a little bit. Oops. Somebody fell down. Watch out. Come on. Come on. There you go. Uh, just don't want to get all muddy. So I have to go nice and slow. Ugh, okay. I don't remember. I remember that there was water in here before. Uh, I just don't remember how much. I don't know if Bailey's going to follow me my foot right there and he gets excited sometimes and has a tendency to run me over and I don't feel like going for a swim right now wow good boy yeah looks like somebody else came up here Is there's a footprint right there and now there's all kinds of dog prints I have a feeling I'm gonna get muddy maybe uh -huh. come on just don't want to slip in the water Oh man, it is so slippery. Bloosh, bloosh, bloosh. Okay. Got my feet all wet. Kind of muddy. All right, no biggie. I took one. For the video team. <laughs> okay, well there it is. The big reveal. And Bailey's trying to... Bailey! Leave the bird alone. Come on. Well, there's more water in this now than there was when I came up here with my brother Paul because we went inside there and uh, had a little conversation about this place and everything. So, yes, I was, sit over, I was sitting over there so you can see there's water there. I think he was over here. And we're gonna see, Bailey, come on. We're gonna see how Bailey handles this area right here, if he's gonna get wet or not. Okay, here we are inside. You wanna come? Come on, buddy. There you go, good boy. So, we are now inside the old China Dam. Here's the roof. I guess that's or the bottom of the arch or opening or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. So I think it's pretty cool.
supposedly, I think up there, there's a pathway where there's like a water bypass and that goes over there somewhere. And then down, I think it was to relieve any kind of pressure that it, when this dam got totally full, it would go through the bypass. Look at there, look who's taking five. You doing all right, buddy? We'll get you some W-A-T-E-R. He knows what that spells if I spell it, if I say it out loud. So I don't want to do that right now. Because at any point, might be thinking I would be teasing him. All right. And right now the Ocotillo are blooming pretty good with their red flowers. So this water looks pretty bad. A lot of algae. Oh, look at that. I don't, I don't know what that is, but can you see it right there on top of that? Rock? I think it's a dragonfly or something. A dragonfly. All right. And then what I like is the stain stuff, like along there. That looks pretty cool. I really like that a lot. And uh, you can see it goes way down there. And this is called the Humbug Wash, or Creek, well, Wash for sure. And I guess when it's running with water, it's called the Humbug Creek. And I'm going to leave that name alone. Because if I don't, I'm sure there's somebody that's going to say, the humbug. Oh! <laughs> okay, couldn't help myself. All right, let's kind of head back and see what Bailey's up to. I'll try to get a shot of him coming over to the hard place. Come on, buddy, come on. Bailey, you coming? Come on, I wanna leave you. Come on, there you go, piece of cake. So it's really neat looking here with all the rock formations and small boulders, cactus, cacti. And uh, all these big rock slabs. Yeah, I learned that terminology on my Moab uh, off rodeo bronco extravaganza. Uh, let's go up that way and uh, see if it's a we can get around that water. I don't really want to get my shoes all messed up again even though these aren't kind of my hiking or whatever kind of shoes not really hiking but shoes that I don't really care if they get messed up and yes I will give him water once we get back to the truck which is not that far away. Okay. Well, it looks to me like at times you can see the wash goes over there too, as well as down there. So when it floods, it's 
a lot of water coming down here. Oh, and look at this. I think we bypassed that. Oop. All right. Something beeped. I don't know what it, oh, I think it's my, let's see. Yeah, it's my diabetic monitor there. I can't see, but it says high glucose to check it, which I will. So I'll scan it. I'll try to show a picture of what's implanted in my arm. It's just temporary. It's good for 14 days. Uh, and then I have to change it out. It's about the size of a quarter, a little thicker though. And instead of having to do a bunch of finger pricks to get blood and do it on a test strip, it reads it electronically and no finger pricks or anything, which I love. And you can probably hear me panting, even though I'm really not out of breath. I don't think I am. I don't feel like I am. All right. Well, hopefully this goes back. I think it does. Well, I know it does, but I just don't know if we have to go through water down here. You doing all right? You thirsty? You want some water? Okay, we'll get you some water. Yeah, I think if we bear off to the left there, it goes like straight up there. We bypass that little bit of water. And then we'll be almost to the truck by that time. And I'm gonna get a drink and Bailey's gonna get a drink. Oh, and look up there. Boop, that's the truck. The 2022 Ford Ranger XLT Super Crew Cab with an awesome camper shell. Yep. All right, here's another perspective of the second dam that was built a lot later. I don't know exactly when. And Here's a bunch of desert apples, I think they're called. They're supposed to be pretty tasty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so this doesn't look too bad. Nice and smooth, for lack of a better word. At least there's not a lot of boulders or rocks or stones that I could trip over. Plenty of rough stuff so to speak and yeah it's it's getting warm out here woohoo there's Bailey hanging out in the shade how you doing buddy you doing all right come on let's go get some water water Okay, well look at there, in the shade even. The and by the way, that road we came down is really, I think, what did all the damage to my Kia, $9,600 worth. Uh, you can kind of see it over there. Maybe I'll take some more footage of it.
But this guy right here, it was a piece of cake. Look up there, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's get him some water. I'm going to get him some water.